Hi, Dave Soriano, University of Pittsburgh, Bradford in Western Pennsylvania. In my fuels course next semester, I will uh, be showing students uh, a range of different uh, energy related uh, experiments. Very quickly, I'll show you uh, one such practical experiment. I have here a uh, universal charger. This can uh, charge up um, AA, AAA, 9 volt, C and D, nickel metal hydride, and uh, nickel cadmium. Now, you're not supposed to be using this with non rechargeables, but that's the point of this little experiment. So, uh, with a little multimeter, I have in there right now a 9 volt battery, non rechargeable, and I'm attempting to charge it up. The voltage on it, the potential, had dropped well below 9 volts. It was about 8.5. So, uh, I'm attempting to recharge it. And uh, I have it hooked up to an inverter. AC DC inverter. So I'm uh, providing the AC to the charger. I've had the battery in here now for about 15 minutes, uh, potential steadily increasing. And the inverter itself is hooked up to a uh, 12 volt. These come from Hobbyco. And uh, we solar charge them up in our greenhouse. We have solar panels there. And uh, I've used this uh, smaller uh, amp hour, 12 volt, or the larger one. Now, what I would normally do is hook it up with a timer. And I would set that timer up so the inverter comes in contact with the timer. And then the battery charger in turn gets hooked up to the timer. I would uh, recommend when charging up any non-rechargeables this way that you let the uh, charger go for half an hour, then let the timer shut it off, let it rest for about 15 minutes, and then uh, let it go for another half hour. In a couple of hours you should have uh, the batteries charged up and be able to use them I would imagine two or three times. So it beats throwing them away. But don't do it without a charger, without a timer, because uh, you'll forget about it. The batteries will overheat. They could possibly explode. So uh, your multimeter can check the potential. Let's see what it is right now. So I'll just uh, rest this camera down. Put it right here. Shut down the uh, inverter. And we'll open up and see what we get. Okay. So, we will have the multimeter on. And my uh, anode plus. And got that in there. So, see if we get a reading. What do we got? Move this over. Oh, we're about 8.94 volts. So it's going up pretty good. It's taking a half an hour maybe, tops. And uh, that way you can uh, save on the cost of batteries. I'll uh, upload a better quality video next semester uh, when we actually are doing the experiment. And uh, we'll we'll set up a uh, better quality uh, video. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye now.